Oh, what, is, oh, what is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Standard channel. My name is Shanks. And today we are on a beautiful map, Fiery and Deal, in a one on one video commentary between good and evil. We have the white Isengard player, the white hand Rangel. And he's against the red Rohan player, Balalandu. <laughs> okay, so he's starting with one farm and Hobbit. Picking up a post and get around this situ around this location to get to the settlement faster. And he's using his peasant, one of them, to capture the settlement. And he's gonna move to the middle. The other peasant is going straight out to the enemy settlement. But of course, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you can't do any damage. And also a smart move from Aizen to pick a slaughterhouse here in the front, which is just tankier compared to a lumber mill. Okay. So this one is going to be eventually a lumber mill, but again, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you can't deal any damage. The Uruks will smash you. So for that reason, you need more and more peasants. If you don't know, recruiting peasants from the farms outside will result them coming on the field faster. Because the higher the level of a structure, the faster the recruit speed, speed of the units. So he was cancelling this, the peasants, when you don't, when you know you can't, oh nice, smart move actually, cancel it, oh I don't know if he cancelled it, I think he did, okay, if you don't cancel it, you know, you will lose 200 resources, that's gonna be a big ouchie, you know what I'm saying, more peasants, the last <laughs> march of the peasants, look at this old man, he's a legendary warrior, and also Mary doing a phenomenal job around this location, killing all the workers, making sure that this lumber mill is not able to generate any resources, for Aizen, that's gonna be the first war chant of the game. Uruks are badly damaged. Hobbit was able to get cloaked. No, he wasn't. They are bringing the Hobbits to Aizen guard. <laughs> okay, I had to say this. <laughs> Alright, Uruk fit. One more Uruk I needed for the level 2. The peasant was able to sneak through. That's good. This Uruks over here are trying to creep, but that's gonna be big casualties. You know, he will lose the entire battalion eventually. But he might get the creep. That's good. Get the money and also the power points. You know, your goal with Aizen against Rohan is to get to industry ASAP to get through the rough early game. Aizen's mid game is phenomenally strong and you want to get there as, you know, quickly as you potentially can. Uruk pit level 2, that's going to boost the recruit time of the Uruks from 22 seconds down to 17 seconds. And you also now have the chance to recruit the Berserker and also the Isengard Pikeman. With important units towering up. Uruk pit level 2 is quite beefy, the peasant should be should not be able to destroy it in time. The settlement saved, but the peasant spam from Rohan was actually not bad, not bad by all means. The stable up on the field, but the stable for that reason was super delete. So I don't know, like, you know, you need to find the sweet point of spamming peasants, but still being able to get to stable, you know, a bit earlier. But he has good map control, he has 1, 2, Three, four farms outside. He lost this one to enemy. And these guys are moving on to this creep. So what I would like to do here with this first Rohirrim is I would like to creep this or eventually even this one. Because this one you will creep anyway, right? This is like a 100% creep for you. There is 0% chance Isengard can contest you creeping this layer. But he can contest you creeping this one. So you want to use your early Rohirrim to creep the offensive, the creeps, being close to the enemy castle, you know, very important. Industry has been used, 64, pretty good. Look, this is one of the situations in which the industry from 2.22 is better and stronger than the 1.06, because earlier you could use it on three furnaces, but it would only boost the resource income by 100%, now you can only use it on one furnace, it's gonna boost by 300%, so the value is still the same, but if you are finding yourself in a situation like this, in which you have only one furnace, this is a buff, you know? You see, he would be easily able to contest this creep, no problem, you know what I mean? So he will be able to trample them, no problem, but Isengard was able to get the creep and also the money. He has one power point in the bank, and with the money he got, he can just fill up the base, you know? He's making, recruiting lots of pikemen, which he needs to counter the Rohirrim. But in order to play against Rohan effectively, you also need the combination of the Berserker and pikemen. Because Berserker can one-shot the peasants, while your pikemen have to protect the Berserker against the Rohirrim. Very good map control for Rohan, full bees. Demolish the stable, very questionable move. I would never do this. <laughs> you don't need to do this. If you play Rohan well, 
you don't you can just keep up the stable especially if you want to demolish it you can do this but you need to first of all buy the horseman shields so you need to recruit foro hit him buy horseman shields then demolish it and replace it immediately with the armory that's your go-to solution because without this you can't really rush the enemy base and the base was so vulnerable you know so open open for a potential rush and he has also two power points collected look the berserker you peasants drafted or not drafted i will slay you all the splash damage is coming in handy you can actually hit more than one unit at the same time so the the rohirrim is trying to play the hero trampling down the berserker but one trample isn't enough we need to trample him at least twice there comes the war channel offensively only two peasants remaining even the pikes can kill them no problemo in the meantime you know the pikes are helping isengard to regain the control of the map very important as well and you want to recruit keep recruiting peasants so now you might see but you will lose them but at the end of the day you lose only 110 resources but the amount of pressure your peasants can actually create is worth more than 110 trust me on that one okay scouting with the lumber mill worker he's not looking happy that he's working during the holidays <laughs> and aizen is getting back into the game no rush is happening only three towers that's not enough if the rohirrim would have the shields look just read the value you get 70 person armor against arrows this is better than the heavy armor man trust me on that one look the heavy armor only gives you 60 person armor you know you get 10 person less armor against um arrows lots of peasants being recruited what you can do is recruit gimli or legolas you know Legolas can kill this pikeman way easier. The pikeman cannot play the game when there is a Legolas on the field. And there is also no lords on the field that can cripple the Legolas. So he should be in a good spot. He is giving armor to these peasants. So they can this way. 1v1 the Berserker, no problemo. Good micro by Aizen. Very good micro. But the Berserker will die anyway. Okay, so in the meantime, Rohan eventually will be capturing the settlement at the bottom side of the map. Which could be good, because then you can build a well, put an archer inside, and leave like one, two peasants around the location where the statue is at. So you build statue well, and then eventually archer range, you can recruit archers, get fire arrows, you will need, need it later on anyway. And it will be very hard for Aizen to commit to the outpost when there are peasants protecting, because pikes can't fight against the peasants, especially not when, when there is a statue you know, nearby, giving them additional armor, damage, and combat experience. Because the last thing you want is that Isengard will be capturing this. War chanted, very strong. And good micro by Isen. Rohan is dominating the map control because there is no Walk Rider yet, but it's about to be changed. There is one. Peasants, even with heavy armor, don't stand a chance against the mighty Walk Riders. Here he is feeding some power points, three power points unlocked now. But Loki, it might be a bit too late for the Alvin Alliance Special Summon. Especially because he doesn't even have upgrades on his horses. Since he was upgrading all the um, peasants, you know. That's a little bit of a waste of money. Look, imagine about how much money he spent for the, for the peasants. And with this money, he could easily go for Gimli or for Legolas, you know. Both heroes, very underrated. Legolas outranging every other unit in the game. And can be a power point farming machine. Use Hulk Strike, back off. Use Hulk Strike, back off, and repeat this over and over again. You will get crazy amount of levels on your Legolas, and the more levels, the more threatening he will become. And eventually, at some point of the game, you will have to fight against Lourdes. You will have to fight against Saruman. And when you have a Legolas on your side, who is like level 5, 6, 7, these two heroes I just mentioned can't play the game. They just can't. It's not possible. I mean, it's not looking good map control-wise for Rohan now. Um, playing with this Rohirrim since the beginning of the game, level 4, level 2, but no upgrades on him. He's going for the um, archer range, and, you know, you will fall off. Even the war riders can actually fight you now in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the war chant in hole, because you have no upgrades on your horses. 
Okay, Armory coming up for Aizen. Rohan has officially not a single farm beside this one. He lost every single settlement. And Rohan, as a faction, has only seven spots inside the castle. So you heavily rely on your outside settlements. We just went for Theorin, King. That's good. Very important hero. I mean, one of the most cost-efficient heroes in the game, definitely. Gives you armor damage right off the bat with level 1 and he only cost you what 1300 that's nothing you know and you can even fight this pikeman with your horses and theory easily just gotta press s and fight them but he doesn't and he also doesn't use the power points and he will be eventually using them now use it here it's perfect situation you can kill this two pikeman and he's using it a bit to lead to finish off the walk riders but the damage is not gonna be there, you know, he was splitting them way too early. The spikes are goners, no problemo. Aizen not reacting good enough. He's also running down with the spike man. But obviously, there is so much stuff you gotta be watching. So making those mistakes, you know, it's pretty normal. So the, the thing about uh, Alvin summon when you don't use it to rush the enemy base is you wanna have lots of room with it. It needs to generate lots of power points for you and it will all it also has to give you the chance to reclaim most of the map you know that's what elves have to do and achieve for you oh boy it's a bad fight to take for rohan the save palantium yes he can use it now on the, there we go my works are hungry now you gotta be running in, in circles the best thing what you can do and the easiest thing you can do is run like this around the lumber mill they will never be able to catch you we've now lords on the field the level 3 furnace is gonna give you lots of money Aizen's eco is gonna be very good now with this level 3 furnace level 3 structures give you now 25 resources every 5.8 seconds that's the amount of time it needs to give you money now you can run directly don't Oh my goodness, Lumber Milk level the two. Oh, <laughs> Lords the Rohirrim Killer. We also went for the Devastation. Devastation not bad, but it will delay your Balrog eventually. And this game looks like it will get to Balrog. Because late game, you will get lots of power points. So the power point you will need at the beginning of the game is way more valuable. As the stuff you're killing is not very rewarding. In the late game, you will have to kill heroes valuable structures high level units you know they will feed you lots of power points Aizen has outpost control at the bottom it's pretty much one two three four lumber mills you need five to get the full discount it's a very good looking base with level three furnaces all over the place one of them being, being level three now when you use industry you want to use it on this level on this one i think you get from this a bit more money, but when you use it on this level 2 furnace, it will level up to level 3 faster. And level 3 doesn't only give you more money, but also has more kinkiness. And in order, to, you know, in addition to that, it will also be able to shoot at nearby enemy units. So it acts like a tower, pretty much. Like a very tanky tower. Level 2 Theoden King. This guy is chilling. Aizen has so much money he can make upgrades on his units and also get Saruman at the same time. That comes to Warchant with Eoma and Theorin. They are very tanky heroes against horses, but not when there is a Warchant and Forge Blades in the game. Because now, as you can see, Theorin is receiving a lot of damage and he needs to be ill. Eoma is one of the heroes, if not the only hero, who is being extremely tanky against horses. Because he's the horse lord of Rohan after all. And his armor set when he's mounted on his horse gives him additional armor against enemy horsemen. So, a great counter because he's faster than most of the horses, being only matched with the Gandalf speed on the Shadow X, but also he's very tanky against knights, wargs, and also Rohirrim. Three combos, lords, and one pikeman. Rohan is poor, that's the main problem. Main issue over there, he has no money to recruit any of these expensive heroes, like this monster trio, Gimli, Legolas, or Aragorn. He has not enough power points to go for them and summon yet. And yeah, main issue piece basically means that he has no money. He has no money. Rohan needs a lot of money though, that's the problem. 
It's gonna use the ability, one-shot it. It will always one-shot, that means uh, getting Eoma to level 4, even in the late game against cavalry units, is pretty easy. You can use it every 30 seconds or 25 seconds even. So pretty good. But the army is coming in Theodin. He sees the darkness, boys. He sees the darkness. He, di he didn't even get crippled, you know? Level almost 3. Yama, that's pretty good. 4 power points almost in the bank for Rohan. 3 power points for Rangel. He needs still 4 power points for the Freezing Green. Because he went for the um, Devastation. But he's not even using it. He's gonna use it now. That gives you actually so much money. Around about 2,000 in a second. And you can use it every 4 minutes too. So when you play evil factions like Mordor or Isengard and you need money because you want to go for a certain hero like Witch King for example or you wanna you have like a really rough game in which all your structures are destroyed and you have no money to rebuild them the Vestation will be your best friend he has crossbowmen in there so not really good to attack this Lords level almost 2 level 5 is gonna be a massive power spike for the Urukai Hero and Saruman, the White Wizard, will be recruited very, very soon. The level 2 Lumber Mill is going to be destroyed now, that's pretty good. But that doesn't change the fact that Rohan has almost no outside settlements. And the second he gets one of them, Aizen is sending all his walk riders to destroy this only farm, which is outside. He has two Rohir marchers, and the siege has begun. The gate has been breached. And Isengard. A new power is rising. And will the victory be at hand? The pikemen are not in position. The combos. He missed this one. Alvin Summon will be used. But this guy can blast them immediately. Nice dodge with the X button on the keyboard. To not get stolen. There is only one ballista. You can destroy it. Fireball has been used on the Rohirrim. The wizard is popping off with all his magical tricks and spells. But the ballista has been destroyed. But it doesn't change anything because the gate already has been breached. Theodin is going to get chunked. And maybe it's time for Theodin now to ask Saruman for the peace. But Saruman offered him in the films. Maybe now we need to hear this from Theodin, the former king of Rohan. But maybe this new king of Rohan, Elma, isn't allowing Theodin to make such a choice by himself. Zero settlements for Rohan. 5,000 plus resources for Aizen. Maybe he can borrow some money to his opponent. Level 3 Rohirrim hero. He needs still one full level to unlock his horse lord. You know, it's a lot. Because each level you gain will make the next level you have to get way harder you need you require much more experience you know from level three to level four than you need it from level two to level three he has also shields on them that's good that makes them actually, actually very tanky they can legit 1v2 them like this health hero here in level five can 1v2 this walk right there's no problemo that's how strong they are almost end summon though almost end summon maybe with the end summon you can do stuff and I don't know why Aizen is too scared. Maybe he's waiting for the freezing rain. What is Saruman doing? Oh, doing a fireball, I see. <laughs> Look, master, what skill I learned. <laughs> Putting all the experience points into the fireball damage. Oh, nice attempt. But he's going to only hit one of them. Rohan can always repair the git. But remember, it will take you lots of time to repair the git from 100 to 0. And you need to have it to 100 person repaired. To actually have like a functional gate which you can control and close but i think it's a tiny pathway and maybe isengard doesn't want to get through the tiny pathway in which shenanigans might happen but if you feed your ballista like this you know to the rohirrim they will not only get more experience points but also you will feed lots of power points to your opponent and end summon is now going to be available he destroyed even the citadel here i don't know how he did it but he did it <laughs> i missed this now we have only level 3 furnaces in the base besides this one. It, look, this one is giving you 100 now. It's crazy. 25 original value. And then plus 300 person, you get 75 extra. It means 75 plus 25. Quick math. It's 100. 
I was very good in the math class of my school. Okay, he's going for the siege works number two. Why? Because he can afford it. You know, he can afford it. He has almost full population. But he's not winning, uh, playing it like he's winning. You need to use this one every two minutes. You want to spam it to get your units some levels. Each level will make them tankier, stronger, and beefier, and also more damage. Maybe some boom boom chakalaka would be nice, you know? Explosive mine. Because Rohan is kind of getting back into the game now. He has also level 3 farms with the green harvest on them. That means he's getting what? 30? How much does he get? Yeah, that's a lot actually, you know? But he has only four, 5 farms. So 9000 versus 600. So maybe he's going for the Gimli. Gimli is a good hero against Siege because his extra all can one-shot Siege weapons such as Ballista, Trebuchet, Catapult. His extra all slays them all. And as Siege weapons give lots of power points upon destruction, you can easily level up your Gimli by just throwing some axes on the Ballista. So you destroy like three Ballista, you are immediately level three. That unlocks your Leap Attack. With level five, you can run them down. With level five, you basically Force your opponent's lords to always waste cripple on Gimli. But Gimli is a beefy hero. He's quite tanky. So he can tank all of his fire arrows for a very long time. Fireball. But I don't know what the Bliss are doing. They are, uh, you know... <laughs> He could have stolen them there with the bomb tank, but it's not worth it, I think, for one Rohirrim. But maybe this one would be nice. Level 8 Rohirrim, Beer of a Blast. Did he use Elvin Wood there? No, but it looks like Elvin Wood. There comes the Freezing Rain, and there comes the Ain Summon. Okay, now we are talking. Now you want to press X button with your keep. With oh, what a trample, what a trample with the massacre of the Ain Summon. Ains are going to war and doing to Isengard exactly the same thing they did to them in the films slapping the uruks slapping the pikemen slapping the crossbowmen and what a defense with the warriors of the fangorn forest the nameless warriors because the only named end we have seen in the films was tribute but now with the fire arrows of course that's their main and only weakness actually and lambert mill workers are also their weakness can he destroy this? The problem with the ants is once they start burning like this, they act all weird. And it's natural, you know, obviously, but it's annoying when you control them. Almost seven power points gathered during this big fight. And Eisen has only four power points, which he gathered by killing those four ants and then losing all the army. Because evil gains power points from losing the army, while good have always to destroy. Now he's Aragorn, Araton's son. Now the question is, as he's so close to the EOD, is it worth to invest two power points of the seven you collected for the Anduril sword? That's the big question. Did he lose Elma? No, he didn't. But the Rhin is still active. That means the army has no leadership, as we are talking. Where is Elma at? Elma is being around this location. Still only level three. So he needs still one full level. He's doing good job with the Rohirrim, destroying the track, just being annoying. But I think Isengard has to just learn to ignore this. Play around the cooldowns. Here they have not even a statue, you know. But actually, maybe, I'm, maybe I take it back. Because they have Aragorn and Theoden leadership. That's pretty crazy. And when your reign is on cooldown... Because the problem is the Lourdes is not level 5 either, you know. When Lourdes would be level 5, it would be a whole different situation. Because then you have 60% more damage. And then this with Warchan, you have 110% more damage. And even heroes like Gimli Aragorn will get one-shotted by this amount of army you have. And because that's not the case... You need to actually wait for the freezing rain before you can fully commit. So he keeps rushing the base. That's very good. Very, very good, actually. And also the map, map, map control is looking now better for Rohan. But he has still so many command points to fill. So I'm not a big fan of this, what he's doing. Um, because he needs some normal Rohirrim too. He has only Rohirrim marches, which are very weak against fire arrows. So that's not your go-to choice. When you have to fight against pikemen, crossbowmen combinations. 
don't do this instead of going this you can you want to go for legolas legolas use go hoax strike back up take off you know you want to do this over and over again and you want to have like 50 50 mix of rohirrim and rohirrim archers saruman is very scary and gimli is also very good because there are two ballista you can now step up use the extra to one shot one of them oh what a fireball on the level 9 almost level 10 don't lose him heal 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 okay very worth beautiful extra immediately getting level 2 boom you see one shot one opportunity the elves dealing no damage they have upgrades and everything level 7 poke him kill him kill him where is x what is the spear throw spear throw him oh my goodness they were... and gimli is running it down even gimli get back off look gimli's tankiness i'm telling you guys gimli is so tanky but because the war chain is not available on this army but there is a level five remember when you fight around sariman he has our uh, ability which gives them 50 percent increased combat experience which is pretty nasty your your units will be able to level up way faster now he's almost the uh, uh eud though and eisen has only eight power points in the bank but he has a bunch of walk riders and twenty thousand in the bank he's repairing now but there is a gate which is broken don't waste your money repairing this part of the wall because he can enter from the gate anyway you know he's trying to go for the beast rush but reen will be available very very soon and the problem is elma is still not level four trust me this one level he's missing would make such a big difference you can't even imagine it's 70 person more damage you destroy everything way faster you can kill heroes way quicker and now he he needs to use the eod defensively he has to use it but that's good for rohan because isengard is fully committing with all the army now you want to use it here and send the eod in but he's receiving so much damage losing this level three farm is going to be more painful and oh eod yeah, now you know you are screwed just kill as much as many structures you potentially can he's choosing to destroy the level three stable that's not bad and he blasted some of the eod blast can one shot them because blast is magical damage in the meantime rain has been used to make the army from rohan a bit weaker okay and summon so he's fully committing to the army of aizen uh to the castle of aizen but aizen has still two outposts if even if you manage to somehow destroy this castle of aizen he can still i mean he has the money to rebuy the castle and you just don't and you also lost like half of your castle and your only production building beside the farms that means you can't even reproduce the army you lost before your city is fully built up that's gonna take you like at least two minutes before you can recruit any more rohirrim or rohirrim archers and remember he lost the stable level three it means he also lost 50 percent of the production speed here very important with the ends to destroy this uruk pit level three you know or at least level three furnaces stop throwing rocks randomly on some units give an aragorn andri sword maybe give aragorn andri sword to make him stronger there we go blue blue sword Je jedi sword level three uh theorin that's pretty good he was also able to save this level seven but i think he lost most of his rohirrim like i see only one rohirrim remaining on the field and this is the one who is just retreating you know there is no well for the recovery he lost his elma which is still level three and also gimli has been killed before and because he eisen lost so much he lost his saruman lurts he has 17 power points now the reason why he is so behind in the power points department is because of the devastation if he wouldn't go for the devastation he would have been able to summon padrock by now cloudbreak has been used to you know stun the um walk riders so they can destroy they can't destroy this rohan citadel that's pretty good and he's finally deciding to repair the gate but that's something he should have been doing long time ago use your theory to get level four that's a free experience there trample with trample you can't get them let them away like this you know you shouldn't he's reviving his saruman trample with trample you can kill them way faster that's upgrade that's non-upgraded unit oh but the rohirrim archer is running it down fire is their main weakness man i told you I just told you. I just told you. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> All right, big army, crossbowmen and pikemen. That's good because then you, your opponent can't trample into you when you have pikemen in the front. But remember, there is no glorious charge for this theory. That's so unlucky for Rohan. Like he needs one level for the glorious charge and one level for Elma level four. That's so unlucky. 
but he's poor and Aizen isn't. Aizen is poor by all means. He's super rich, actually. Look, one piece of advice I can give you guys is this. Okay, he's doing it. Don't sit only on one Uruk pit in late game of Aizen. You can make three Uruk pits. You can make two war pits. And you should also. Because in the late game, you will lose army. And then you need speed. You need to be fast in replacing the army he lost. And with one structure, you can only recruit one unit at the, at the same time. So when you have this much money and this much succeed in your eco, with the station and industry, and later on you will have also field the fires, for example, then you can easily go for the second and third Uruk pit. Just spam them over and over again. So the army is coming. Remember the end summon is on cooldown, EOD is on cooldown, and Balrog is only two power points away. Rain is gonna be available very, very soon. Rohirrim quite beefy, beautiful fireball. Yeah, Rohirrim quite beefy with the shields, so they don't take too much damage from these combos, especially not when they have no Lord's leadership. Again, that's something he's missing. And that's a very important lead game power spike for Aizen. But he doesn't have it. Nor does Rohan have Eoma in Turin leadership. You need to actively try to level them up to level 4. Very important. Rohan's last stand, ladies and gentlemen. Building well, stage 2, camping. We have seen Gondor camping it out most of the time. But Gondor, unlike Rohan, has the chance to build trebuchet expansions and recruit trebuchet from the siege works. It's something Rohan can't do. Rohan, in reality, can actually camp against Mordor, for example. But against Aizen, it's pretty difficult because you, as Rohan, rely heavily on your leadership bonuses, which Isengard can easily negate by pressing the freezing rain button. Doing a good job harassing, slowing down Isengard's progressing a bit, and stalling until the next EOD. Five. The Vestation available very soon. He has almost full population. He has army in the base. He has army at the bottom. The Walkrider army. And his army in front of the Rohan base too. Rain is available. Speechcraft has been used. Almost level 8. That's going to unlock the Will of Saruman. And the Vestation has been used. Now just go. But he's waiting for the War Chant. War Chant is 2 minutes and 10 seconds cooldown. And duration is 40 seconds. That means after using it, you need to wait 1.5 minutes pretty much before you can use it again. So it's pretty fast loading ability. Heal, for example, is three minutes cooldown, you know? Draft only one or 45 seconds even. But EOD has nine minutes. <laughs> and this one has six minutes, 30 seconds. Five minutes, 30 seconds. So summons and abilities like Cloud Break, six minutes, Rain, six minutes, because these are big abilities, you know? You wanna have cooldowns on them. Very beefy army with the level 9 Rohirrim, but still can't commit to this because there is a wizard. Oh, nice! One more time, right on the face. Here you want to kill Saruman. You want to kill... Holy moly! Say hello to my little friend. Landing on the King Elisar. Can he whip him? Whip him. Get over here. <laughs> Gandalf warned you, Aragorn. Gandalf warned you, didn't he? Breath fire. Oh, he's teleporting. Now he's learning some magical tricks to escape this dude. But will he let him escape? That's the big question. Um, okay. He has still an army over here, actually, man. And he has even AOD very soon. So he's still good to go. Maybe, I mean, he has no money, though. That's the problem. Ooh, trampling all the Ruhirim. But he was barely able to get away, and during all this time, our friend, King Theoden of Rohan, still couldn't get level 4 to unlock his glorious charge. I mean, I'm calling this un unlucky. Like, that's, let's just call it by name. It's pretty, pretty unlucky. Rohan has zero settlements. He has 2.4k with two remaining level 3 farms. So his eco resource generation is not looking too hot. He has, what, four battalions of Ruhirim and Aragorn. Level six, heal on cooldown, but the only thing, 
which is going pretty decent for Rohan, is that he can summon the second EOT and that's gonna help him to stall the game a bit longer. Maybe he's expecting Isengard to DC. Maybe, maybe you can find a way in which you can progress with the EOD summon. But you need Elma back. Don't lose him like this, man. Oof, that's, that's such a valuable unit. You need Elma back. Because Elma was level 3. And it means he has the outlaw leadership available. And you can get money for killing stuff. So you can send uh, uh, your Elma in. Once you summon EOD. And your Theoden also. Then they can share experience with the EOD. They can this way level up to level 4. And because you kill stuff with EOD and Elma is nearby, you will get money for killing stuff. You actually can get lots of value from this, you know? You also use the Will of Saruman. The gate is repaired, so you can't get in. But there is a, you know, a tiny pathway which Aizen can use. He's fireballing the gate. Knock, knock. <laughs> Open the gate, FBI. That's what Saruman is telling here. And he needs like what four fireballs i believe and that's gonna take you a long time right that's like one minute 15 seconds times four that's like five minutes and you can easily repair this by the time before you can use it again eod will be summoned to kill the army like expected so that's gonna give you some time he's using the speedy gonzalez move with the uh, with the palantia but i don't think you can get away from this can you I'm not sure now you can't eod is just too fast Get over here, wizard. <laughs> oh, maybe he's using the Will of Saruman. Oh, maybe the EOD is making the 360. You want to put him inside. In this situation, what you want to do is this, you know, this, discard this guys and then put Saruman inside. Oh, but he actually got away. And he bought, he was able to save both the heroes. Barely Lourdes and also barely Saruman. Very lucky or talented. One or the other. Okay, Rohan is sitting on one farm but he's about to get uh, two farms but he's about to get the third farm that's good and also this farm is going to be taken here you can just fight you have a uh, heal you can heal them and fight this one with two trust me on that one you can just beat them even with warchan you can win because you have full upgraded rohirrim with level six and the shields also give resistances against enemy horses which also includes the walk riders you know Rohan is reclaiming map control the game isn't over yet but remember AOD was just used, and Baldrog was used minutes before that, and very soon he will be able to summon the Baldrog for the second time, in about three and a half minutes from now. Dude, just like in the films, man. Just like in the films, boys. Use Palantir to get to move faster, bring your heroes to this location. Um, there is still one part of the wall broken, but Cloudbreak is available, and so is Freezing Rain. Cloudbreak is better in those all-out fights when you have no leadership anyway, because Cloudbreak will make that armor lower by 30%, which basically almost negates the leadership from this dude. Almost. And no GC still. He's using the second fireball. <laughs> knock, knock. Can he repair this? No, he can't. We need 2,000. What is Lords doing over? He crippled Theorin. Okay, but there is no follow-up. We can repair this. Just cancel something. If you no, you can't. He doesn't have anything to cancel. Maybe we could have canceled this Rohirrim archers. He's gonna he's gonna summon the ends again. The ends are the MVPs in my opinion. He's gonna be able to steal one of the ends to fight for him. There comes the big, big, big war chant. Theorin is has to get closer, but there is no firepower. They are aiming on Theorin. Theorin with level three. Very squishy. Heal is gonna be delete. We'll miss the target. Level 10 Rohirrim are coming. And Aragorn is the one-man army. He's just manhandling those armies from Isengard. But once the Bleedmast is off, it's gonna be also more difficult to keep fighting. Cloudbreak will stun them all. That's good. Rain to counter this. But Aragorn just killed like two battalions of armies. Because Aragorn is also, uh, also has splash damage. That means if you clump into one small area like this aragon can hit multiple targets with the one strike of his one swing of his sword and he's getting more levels if he gets ever close to level 10 that's gonna be a you know a win condition for rohan because you can summon this 
every four and a half minutes so it has half the cooldown compared to the big aod obviously you can only summon one battalion but this one battalion can do wonders for you can do a phenomenal job by the way the tita is very tanky from rohan that's why you want to focus down the other structures first before you focus the tita unlike against gondor gondor tita is very vulnerable against damage but rohan is quite beefy you know this one has 4000 health for example the same health also this city is pretty tanky against horses but oh bad trample lots of mistakes being made now in the late game as i expected um the heroes are remaining in lords still not level 5 aragon just one shot in the spikeman no problemo getting more and more experience but he's still far away you know missing getting this missing two and a half levels will take ages hidden has been revived but elma hasn't been revived all game long nor did gimli elma here would be much more important than you think because of the outlaw leadership making a walk the army because he can afford it right he has 1900 but he's queuing up units all over the place you know look he has queued up units or from here he has army here he has queued up two pikemen two walk riders he can do this because of the insane amount of resources he's able to gain from field of fires the station industry and the map control he just you know owns Balrog is available when and where he's gonna use it he's gonna use it here killing his own <laughs> lords Balrog doesn't care about friend or foe the king of Rohan. That was satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this was satisfying. Get slapped, bro. It's a level one. A level one or two. You can one shot it. No problemo. Aragon being a beefy hero, as you can see and tell. Aragon, so tanky guy. He's gonna use heal. Last stand. Last march of to hit him. A GC would be amazing. Aragon, like I said, Bleed Master is off. It's a whole different situation. He will die. The last structures are remaining on the field while the army of Rohan falls. Unlike in the films, this this time there was no Elma's army with Gandalf to save Rohan against the forces of Isengard. Unlike in the films, this time there was Saruman leading his own army to victory. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will result in the win of Isengard. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Smash the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.